everyone. Welcome back to the Arm Hug Podcast. I'm here with another incredible guest. Um, if you guys are here and you've never been to one of our podcasts before, basically we're interviewing subject matter experts on what their expertise is in and what kind of business they've started. So today we have Kayana Moreland. Um, she's the founder of My Health Reassurance and founder of MHR Elite Coaching. So she is very versatile. So I've got to meet Kayana in person and she's incredible. Uh, she's a really brilliant personality. Um, she knows a lot about her specialty and I'm excited to hear about how she got started. So lead the way. Well, thank you for having me again. Yes, my name is Kayana Moreland and uh, as you stated, founder of My Health Reassurance located in Fayetteville, Georgia and also MHR Elite Coaching also located in Fayetteville, Georgia. So uh, I offer a variety of uh, medical wellness um, and aesthetic services through my business in Fayetteville, my health reassurance, and I also do coaching um, for nurse, new nurse entrepreneurs looking to get into this space um, and offer a lot of the services that we offer within our, our clinic and specialty. So I teach them how to implement like IV hydration and um, let's see, like PRP, uh, iron clinical lab, you like we just have a list of <laughs> services that we offer, just depending on what it is that you want to offer in your business. Um, you know, I'm able to help you get started. So, yeah. It's amazing. And how did you get started? Was it an idea that you, you thought about while you were in nursing school or was it something that you graduated and then you said, you know what, I want to start my own business? So um, I didn't have the um, traditional startup. Um, it wasn't, I, I haven't always wanted to be a business owner. I like to tell people that because it, it has not always been a dream of mine, but I am a go-getter. I am a person, um, if I'm given an opportunity to do something, I'm going to go full pledge with it. And I'm a risk taker. So I had someone approach me back in 2009 about hiring me as a uh, contractor for their business, a nurse practitioner um, contractor for their business. And so um, once I got hired, I started thinking like, hmm, you know, I can kind of make something out of this. And it kind of started as a side hustle, um, you know, and it just, it just took off from there. And, and I just, I got focused and I saw like the, the, the money that I could potentially make. <laughs> and I just, like I said, it just took off and I went from there. So um, of course I kind of started doing one thing. I started doing like physicals and urgent care mm. and I got bored very quickly so I was like, oh, well, let me do some research and kind of see what are some profitable services um, that, you know, people could use and I could really make some good money from this. And so I rebranded after that and took more and more classes to be able to offer um, the services that I now offer, which is more of the aesthetic side of it. Um, but I still offer some wellness um, services as well. But so that's kind of basically how I grew. I just kept kind of rebranding myself. Um, expanding my knowledge, um, taking classes to increase my knowledge base and my my expertise, and here we are four years later. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm I've been a full time entrepreneur now for two years because I still continue to work for the first um, two years while I was still growing the business. Um, and then I had my my lovely daughter who's now about 22 months. And so I made a decision that um, after having her, like I didn't want to go back into the hospital and go back to working night shift. So I made it my personal business to make my business work for me so that I could just be a sole full entrepreneur and not have to go back to the hospital. So this October um, will be two years that I will be a full-time entrepreneur. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Amazing. you. Yeah, and that feeling where you can release and now you, you're you technically your own boss mm -hmm. and you have your team. Can you talk a little bit about how you hired the right team? So I've, I've gone through, in full transparency, I've gone through a couple of um, different, you know, employees, contractors, because, you know, you don't know, you're, you know, you're new and you got to kind of test and see you know what works um what people fit with your brand what people are in alignment with your vision um so i've i've gone through a couple of employees um and they've 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 been great in their own way and they served the business in the time frame that they were supposed to 
Um, but it was, I guess, a matter of me just going with what I thought I needed at that time. So when I first started, um, because I was kind of small um, and the services that I was offering at that time, like I just started with some medical assistance. Um, but then, of course, as my knowledge grew um, about the business and, and running the business, um, I changed my thought process and I'm like, OK, well, let me get some team members that can actually uh, do more and make the business more profitable. And so then I hired a nurse because I'm like, OK, a nurse can do way more, um, you know, with her skill set. And then I got to the point where I wanted to um, expand some services, but I didn't want to have to go back to school. So that's when the right. idea of the esthetician <laughs> um, came about and I hired my esthetician so that, you know, we can also do some aesthetic services that I can't do um, as a nurse. Now, there are things that I can do on the aesthetic side as a nurse, but there are some things that depending on the state, like only an esthetician, you know, will be able to do so. Um, that's how I got my esthetician on board. And then I also have one other nurse that's a concierge nurse. Mm -hmm. And so she does all of my um, in-home visits. So that'll free me up um, by, you know, hiring her and let her go into the homes where I can, you know, be in the clinic if I choose to or or work on the business, but it doesn't tie me down. So that's kind of how I, I came about to the the current team that I have. Yeah, I love that you said that. It just sounds like the business is growing, but you you are too in terms of the mm -hmm. people that you're adding to your business. Cause they always say, if you're going to hire, make sure that that person's adding to the business. Um, it sounds like, you know, you also were willing to give other people responsibilities of the things that you could be doing. Cause it's not mm -hmm. that you can't for right. someone. It sounds like you just, you really just want to use your time elsewhere. Absolutely. So, I think that's really amazing. A lot of people are trying to do it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's impossible. It's impossible. It's imp impossible to wear the CEO hat, the uh, provider hat, the CFO hat, the marketing hat, the bookkeeper. It's impossible. So one thing that I have learned is to outsource um, and hire to my weakness. Um, and that's that's kind of that's what's been helping me, because if you try to do it all alone, like you won't grow and you'll burn yourself out and you kind of defeat the whole purpose of why you even went into business so you have to have a team one thing that I did learn from um, um I work uh, we do a lot of you know networking and collaboration together is that like she teaches to hire on early so I wish I what I know now I wish I would have known earlier because the mindset that I have now I definitely would have implemented hiring the team that I now have I would have done it earlier, but I understand that everything happens for a reason too. So it, it all happened in the timing that it would. Um, so I'm I'm thankful for that. But um, I definitely agree that you should hire earlier on, even if you're still working um, in the hospital. I know this was my mindset at one point that I thought I had to do it all. So I, you know, like position my schedule where at one point I was working seven days a week. You know, I was working for myself on my off days and then working in the hospital on the the other days. And so, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's some notifications coming through. But what what I the mindset that I have now, I'm like, okay, I could have been hired. I could have hired someone, um, to work in the office when I was, you know, first opening and I, and it, it sounds like it's hard to do, but it really isn't because there are different ways that you can pay somebody like commission. But of course, the more, you know, the better you do. Um, so, you know, I'm like, so, well, I was killing myself working seven days a week. Like I actually could have, you know, hired an RM in my first two years, the first year of, of running the business. And, you know, it, the outcome I'm pretty sure would have been much better but just things like that just knowing that you know you hire a team early on um it takes less pressure off of you it takes less stress off of you and you can really grow the business like how you want to so yeah no I'm so glad you figured it out though because then you wouldn't be where you are now right you've developed yeah. probably a lot more services because that always happens you collaborate with people mm -hmm. you come up with ideas um and then you've hired people who are have other training so it's like different types of things they can do that's exciting mm -hmm. yeah can you talk a lot of you did mention the work-life balance so now that you do you feel like you figured it out basically no <laughs> it's a work in progress it is a work in progress um 
Yeah, I, I make efforts um, to do certain things. Like um, I'm currently um, doing a, I don't know if I should call it a workshop or no, it's not a workshop. I guess it's a, it's like a seven week training um, that makes you focus on your, what they call PQ intelligence. So like mm. um, mental training, your muscle of the brain. Um, and so it's helping with personal development and it's also helping with professional development, this, this training that I'm in. So, uh, with that, it makes you, you know, it picks certain things for you to work on, um, every week to kind of help bring everything all together, where it's your, your work life, whether it's your, uh, personal life. Um, and so I make efforts. I, I haven't, I can't say that I've arrived, um, but I'm making an effort and I'm aware of, um, you know, needing to do certain things, knowing that um, I have a 22 month old and I have a 15 year old that need me, <laughs> you know, family, families first. And, you know, I'm also married. So I have a husband um, and then, you know, home has to be taken care of. And then, of course, I am the um, sole owner of the business. So, you know, I have to take care of that, too. So I'm aware um which, like I said, I'm proud of that. I'm aware and I'm making a conscious effort to do certain things, but I have not completely mastered work-life balance. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and you said it right. It's a work in progress. I feel like being an entrepreneur, that's where it is. It's always there, right? It's an imbalance, but you can help try to navigate that chaos, when you're in that chaos like all the time and you're trying to help navigate it did you ever think about hiring we hear a lot about mindset coaches or business coaches to help build like strategies or be a better leader I actually do have a business coach um I haven't quite made it to the mindset coach but my business coach does sometimes talk about mindset strategies um but yes yeah, somewhere down the road I am I'm, I'm definitely open to getting a mindset coach because I understand the importance of that it can make you or break you um just depending on what mindset you have but um I was gracious enough to find um my bookkeeper um is actually my business coach <laughs> and so um you know she serves more than one um purpose for me but yeah if, if I didn't have people like her um, if, you know, if I didn't meet in my, my corner, like just surrounding yourself with other entrepreneurs, people who have been in this space, people that you can learn from, like I've done some training, some sale courses, some marketing courses, business courses, um, to help because you, you don't know what you don't know until, you know, something happens, but me coming from a nursing background and entering into the entrepreneur space is two different worlds. And it's such a major gap. Um, between what we're taught in nursing because we're taught to care for people and and you know an aspect of my business I'm caring for people too but it's nothing like running a business you're not taught those um, business skills that you need to be able to run a successful business so there is a gap so you do have to take it upon yourself to you know learn the information go get coaching or training um, so that your business can be successful so I've I've started that I can't say again that I'm I'm all the way there, but um, I definitely feel like it has helped me, you know, be able to sustain for four years. So, yeah, that's amazing. And, and you're doing it right. You're surrounding yourself with people who are probably just showing you different sides of yourself. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I could do that. I didn't even know I could do that. Right. You <laughs> talk a little bit about your coaching, because how do you make the time then to coach or do you Ooh. feel like? you can coach as many as people as you want because I'm sure you get a lot of interest I do I do and I've had to learn um that everybody's not coachable so in the beginning when I did start teaching or coaching um because that, again that's another separate business uh, venture mm -hmm. um I was taking everyone like you know I was mm -hmm. like I was trying to help everyone that's that nursing part you know just yep. wanting to be nurturing and help everyone <laughs> But um, but I, I learned that um, everybody's not, you know, going to, you know, meant to be my client and I, I can't coach everyone like, you know, this is it goes both ways. So um, since learning that and the different experiences that I've experienced with, with coaching, I'm more strategic about the clients that I take on. So it's not as many um, as when I first started, you know, doing the, the coaching aspect of things, um, I, I try to make sure that the person that I am coaching um, is in alignment with, you know, my, my coaching goals 
um, mm -hmm. for what I offer. And also people that are more, um, what should I say? I guess more serious about it because mm -hmm. you find that, you know, sometimes people think that they might want to do something. And then when they really learn about what it is and it's like, oh no, maybe that's maybe not that's that's not what I really wanted to do or you know just right. and, and it could be lack of knowledge because you might be thinking something is one way and you, you you find out it's another but um and so I've just I've been more strategic about um the clients that I do have working with people who do want to go down this journey because it's not a it's not an easy journey um at all so um with that said yeah I don't I don't take on um a lot of clients now because like I said once you know people realize what this entails mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it it definitely um it changes things but you know just again just wanting to work with people um who are you know uh goal oriented um they're okay with knowing that this is a journey this is not a fast race or you know um to success it doesn't happen overnight so when, when I I find those clients it tends to work out better for both of us um, both for them being successful and me being able to give, um, you know, the best that I can give them. So, yeah, I think that's well said. I feel like everybody thinks that it does happen overnight because social media makes it look that way. Um, I know that you also work with a lot of high level clients. Mm -hmm. Your social, if you guys haven't seen, you know, Kiana's social media, I'll put it down below, but she, she's always showing herself with her clients showing what she's doing with her clients so can you talk a little bit about how you found clients that essentially would be stars <laughs> out there? um well for one developing an online presence on social media that was that was the main thing and that's something that I also do in my coaching is um teach people how to develop online presence um, as much as, you know, social media can be a negative thing, it can be a positive thing as well. And so for me, is is there's been some positive lights um, for my business because it's helped me to um, expand my services. And all it takes is one. Once you meet mm -hmm. one client, then it's word of mouth. And then, you know, they tell somebody else and, you know, you get, um, you know, you start getting a different referral. So that's that's exactly how it happened. I'm 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 outgoing. I have an outgoing personality. I'm fun. I love to dance. So I revamped my social media page to start um, you know, showing more of my personality. Yeah. And so uh one person ended up, you know, jumping in my inbox is like, hey, can you come do this service for me? And I'm like, wait a minute, is that who I think it is? Right. <laughs> so like, am I being punked here? Like, mm -hmm. is, is their account hacked? Like, it was all of those questions. And then when I actually talked to him and it was that person, I was like, okay, yeah, I've made it. <laughs> but um, so that's, that's kind of how it started. And like I said, it then, you know, they told someone um, and then they told someone else. And then an another part of it too is like, I've done a lot of um, influencer marketing. So, you know, paying different people to work with them to help expand my brand and get further reach by putting me in front of their followers. And um, that has been amazing, too, because, again, because they are, I guess, like, um, how should I put it? They're kind of like reality stars, I guess yeah. I would say. Um, they come with their, you know, circle of friends. Um, and so, you know, again, once I paid to work with them, Again, it was just referral. Hey, call her. She does this. And so now I have I have a ton of celebrities um, that I work with. Some of them I can post. Some of them I can't post for confidentiality. But um, but yeah, it's been amazing. See, they trust you. I think that's- They trust me, about, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. about what you're doing. That's awesome. Like, I mean, I think that's a really- Did you even think that you would ever- get that opportunity I didn't, because remember this business wasn't planned you know right. <laughs> it just it was an opportunity that I went with um so know that you know in doing my business plan which by the way I tell people this in full transparency of course because the business wasn't planned I didn't do everything in the correct steps and so the business plan came later the bank account the business bank account came later all of those things <laughs> were not um, in order when I first started, but I, it was, it was a part of my journey, you know, it was a part of my journey of making those mistakes, um, not knowing what to do so that I can, I can now in my coaching tell people, okay, don't do this. Okay. You okay. need to do this. Make sure you do this first. Um, it was me having to make those mistakes and some failures and throwing away a lot of money, um, to be able to be where I am today. So. 
Oh man. Well, I can't thank you enough for taking the time today. I think my last question is just about any advice for people struggling to start. Just do it. Um, if you think about it, you won't do it. Um, because you'll come up with a, mu a million excuses um, to talk yourself out of it. Um, the fear comes with it, but you just you just got to be bold and you just got to step out there and do it. That would be my only advice. So if you want to start a business, definitely, like we said, um, surround yourself with like minded individuals because that's that's key. So if you're if you're sharing your ideas with someone that's never been in this space, you're more than likely going to get more negative feedback than positive feedback because they've not been on this journey before. So they can't they can't tell you about it. They can't be encouraging. Um, you'll find that it's going to be strangers that are going to support you more than friends and family. And that's okay, you know, but definitely surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals can, who can help grow you or help you to grow both personally and professionally. Um, and then once you do that, just, just go for it. So that would be, that would be my advice. All right, Kayana, thank you so much. I mean, it's incredible to hear your story. It's incredible to hear how far you're going I bet I, I'm sure I'm going to hear more about the things you're doing anything that we should be looking forward to any events that you're going to be having any books that you're that we should we should see you signing oh <laughs> uh, let's see um I don't have we I know like I said we did a workshop this weekend right. um I don't have anything um coming up right now but things change because I get very creative um but you can they can follow me on IG my service page is my health reassurance one there you go sorry clients that i've serviced my health reassurance one on instagram and my health reassurance on facebook and tiktok and then in terms of my coaching um mhr elite coaching on instagram and also mhr elite coaching on facebook and tiktok um i have ebooks um that i have created to help people get started on their entrepreneur journey. So you can find that in my bio on my Instagram, MHR Elite Coaching. And then I also do coaching courses and services that uh, we can implement for you. Um, if you're struggling, you're an aspiring entrepreneur that wants to get started in like the med spa space, there are some services that we can do for you to help kind of alleviate um, some of the stressors that come with that. All right, that's awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Thank you. <laughs>